gonna be Sarah for this video so hey divas what's up it's your girl Sarah and today's video is going to be of a custom lace front wig that I your girl made so today I do have on one of my favorite t-shirts which is from Uniqlo and this is Chucky good guys Chucky want to be friends so if you want to be friends with Sarah you could definitely go ahead and follow me on social media like Instagram Facebook Twitter Snapchat and also make sure that you share this video with everybody on YouTube like yes I'm definitely in a good mood today because if I wasn't, I definitely wouldn't be talking like this to you guys. But you know what? You have to have fun with your videos, so let's definitely have fun with this. So, for this lace front, ladies, this was a um, few bundles of hair. It was like three bundles, um, 20, 20, 18 inches, and a 16-inch frontal. So, you guys, you know, I don't really do, like, the frontal things that great, but I have been really kicking them out, like, doing my thing and making them look really, really cute and actually just kind of, like, perfecting them. Like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I did a damn good job this time. Okay, so I decided to use a, like the um, wig making caps, you know, like the deluxe ones, their net material, like, you know, like the net fish net ones, like, you know, and it has like the adjustable straps on the inside, you know, you know what I can't stand? Like I bought some wigs before, like a custom wig from somebody and the braid wig too, and some other wig, and they use these same caps. Please tell me why they put these on the outside. Every last one of them had these sewn on the outside. <clears throat> what makes you think that the adjustable straps are supposed to go on the outside when they're on the inside of any wig cap? Like, seriously, girls, let's get it together. I think I need some water. Me, 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 me. <clears throat> so, I didn't sew any combs in the front, but I damn sure sewed some in the nape area, okay? And, you know, it is what it is. And also, I did pre tweeze and I, God knows, I did not scalp it this time. I didn't. I swear to you, I didn't. But I also bleached the knots. So, let's talk about this knot bleachage for this hair. So, I did forget to mention that this is from Julia Hair. Okay, so I did write it right here. Now, first of all, let me tell you about Julia Hair. We're going to do this with a mint because my mouth is dry. So, Julia Hair, let's talk about Julia Hair. Like two and a half, three years ago, something like that, they had sent me some bundles and I had bleached them. And I don't know if y'all guys remember, but the damn hair caught on fire. Like it started smoking and everything and I was not feeling it. So, you know, of course I did show you guys that in the video. They probably emailed me like 50 times after that. Can you please take the video down? Would you like to make another video of course? No, 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 no. So three years later, they sent me some more hair. Girl, it did not burn up. Like, yes, I did do a strand test, but also the bleach knots did not melt. Hmm. But here's the thing. So, I bleached the knots on like three frontals, and this one was already made. So when I bleached the knots on this, okay, I left it on for 30 minutes, and then I looked at it, and then I was like, oh, okay. I could tell they were still like really, really black. So I left it on for an hour with 30 developer. When I finally was ready to rinse it off, it did not like get brassy, but they lifted like knots, the, the, the knots lifted. So I was like so impressed, like, okay, Julia hair, fixing it up, okay. But I think because I used this particular wig cap, it made life so much better. Like for real, the wig fits different. If it's tighter, it just falls better. It's just like everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this tutorial before it gets late in the day. And this is their Malaysian hair, by the way, also, in case you guys wanted to know. Yeah. 
actually turned out really really nice like I like it it came out really nice the hair is super duper soft like I think it's either Peruvian or Malaysian I want to say it's Peruvian it's deep wave it's actually super duper soft to the touch I didn't use all the hair I used only two bundles and like this much from the third bundle because this hair gets extremely big so I kind of like sold the tracks apart but I think like the density the volume of it is like spectacular I like I like this hair the way it is I'm pretty sure if you wet it and just left it and didn't finger comb it it would just be fine but for me I like to give it a little bit of volume and you know stuff like that I am um, pre tweezed a lot of it but I just got scared and didn't want to go too far because you know the last time that I did this I just like scalped the damn thing it was like a bald spot in it and I just like that's the second time I did that to a curly wig so I just was like April just back off you know what I'm saying like just leave it but the bleaching like listen it is not even brassy at all do you guys see that like I didn't even put apart it was more or less kind of be like a flip over method I just brushed it after I washed it and just left it but do you guys see that parting in this this baby is like butter the knots are amazing it's not even brassy or anything and it might also have to do with it looks so great because you know I have on a wig cap underneath but for the most part yeah I like how it came out oh my god it's like a lot of hair it's super cute. Let's get a hair clip. So it's super cute. It's very full. I like it. It's cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at the parting. Like, so natural looking. And it's very full. So with two bundles, this is all unique and like. So I do like the cap. I actually really do like the cap. It's in a deluxe weaving cap. So, you know, it just looks like, you know, and it has little adjustable straps on it. But I think like these work a lot better for me. I like the way this fits and I like the way it just kind of like is breathable it's it's just fits more snug to your head versus a dome cap unless you get like a smaller dome cap then you know I'm just gonna stick with these but you guys you can definitely check out Julia hair I'm impressed with them this time because the first time it was like a doozy um, which was like three years ago you know I do hold grudges sometimes especially when I be wasting my product and my time but you know I do appreciate a good turnover like you know what I'm saying like even apple turnover is good too but I wasn't really talking about that but I was talking about like the basically the hair in general quality like they stepped it up so I'm gonna say kudos to them on a scale of one to ten what I give them I'm gonna give them a nine and a half only because you know I had to leave the bleach on a little bit longer than normal but that's okay um Julia hair came through they got some nice cool um frontals here and I do like that so yes because some of them when they bleach too fast 
Hunty girl, please. Your hair will start falling out of that front to some of them when you bleach them. I trust me. I know this. But so I love you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this one. I think I'm going to call her Chucky. What do you guys think? I know that's a guy's name, but so what? She's scary like Chucky.